Hello everyone, welcome to our weekly resurrection. No, Minecraft summary. Summary is a good word, because that's what it is. Uh, it was a smaller stream last week, because Lawrence accidentally played Factorio instead for a lot of it. Um, but I am here up on Lawrence's Tower, which is where I always start for some reason. Um, it's a tradition or an old charter or something. Where in between streams, in fact, Tristan has been messing around. One thing that was achieved on stream is the Elven trading, where I believe stuff in stuff comes out uh can you can you ask it for trading uh but you do have to chuck stuff in once you've got this going that is how you unlock access to various uh next tier materials from Britannia. uh you need a lot of mana for it and you need these magical pylons and you can't yourself go in if you chuck things in you do get stuff out obviously if i give them a salmon keep it very well you can have that elves i don't know if you're vegetarians or not lawrence has in this made a tier two minor spreader which may be this i don't know uh probably this look at this an elven minor spreader so we've made one of these presumably from elven trade because it's an elven spreader uh, guessing it just does more i don't know uh we've been looking at some tier so we've been doing a lot of quest handing ins and rewardings uh we're trying to get through the fourth tier um, I guess we're getting quite somewhere, but I don't know how much more of this is going to unlock as we do stuff. So it's probably a lot bigger based on how big tier three ended up being. Quite big. Um, I went through and did the jetpack things of this one. You don't actually need to do those, which is kind of pesky because I did. <laughs> um, it, tier four unlocks at some point during all of that. Uh, I went through and did all the jetpacks and was thoroughly disappointed by the jetpacks and I immediately took it off again and put my elytra back on because an elytra with jump boots is way better than a jetpack which won't stay put. There are jetpack mods where the jetpack will basically give you creative flight as in you press the space bar you go up and then you stay there and then you press shift you go down. This one you're constantly having to keep it Know, where you want it to be you can't do anything whilst you're up there you can only travel with it you can't use it for building well, you can use it for building you can't use it for mining you can't use it for construct it's not a useful jetpack if you're not going to have a useful jetpack you might as well have the elytra because it's also very very slow um so i'm not even going to put it on and show you because i don't even think i have it with me in any of my inventories i think i just put it away so that was rubbish but i spent my time doing that other people as you can see have done many things on tier 4 a lot of which are very difficult to do the ultimate crafting table for example is i don't even know when this was done because it was ready when i logged in ultimate but you can't i took a screenshot you can't type and talk at the same time it is <laughs> i love the fact that it's a three by three crafting recipe but the things that are in it are insane. There's Terra Steel, which was expensive. There's Urdeen, which is expensive. There's an Elite Crafting Table, which is expensive. And there's... So, you know, it was a fairly difficult crafting table. I assume it's been put down over there somewhere. Probably. Uh, yeah, Pete, Pete did some of that. Mike was not around, I believe. That's the case. Uh, well, it was Tristan that actually got the Elf Trading running. So Lawrence wasn't here for that, even though it's his job. So there you go. Uh, so what Tristan's done here is to fix the, this is Terra Steel area, uh, there will be a, yeah, Terra Steel pattern here. So the problem was that if you drop a bunch of them, I think, it doesn't work because you can only craft one at a time. So what there is instead is a, <laughs> quite the contraption. So as you may know, a hopper, when it has something in it, but it says it's got a lot of things in it, by the way. Uh, when a hopper has something in it, it's outputting a no signal so it needed the comparator to do that but maybe this uh, this is a comparator i thought it was a and gate but it's a comparator so the comparator is outputting a redstone signal down here and also up here it would look like this one is doing the same there's a redstone signal in here and there's another one here there's a redstone signal in here and there's an and gate this one has a power of three this one has a power of 15 this one has a power of three so these are all on which means this is on so all of these have to have something in them. This has got minor diamonds in it. This one's got minor steel ingots in it. This one's got minor pearls in it. Those are the ingredients required for terra steel, apart from presumably. No, those are all in there as well. 
There's an annoying ticky thing because every five seconds it checks. I believe that's long enough for the terrace deal to be created. Uh, Tristan has actually explained this. So let's that's the... Uh, the mana pool has enough mana. And we have had an output. We have had an item in the output chest since it last ran is one of the requirements. So this is the one that's determining whether all of the hoppers have enough stuff in them. This one is determining. Okay, so this comparison. So this is empty, right? So this has to turn on. Then this is a latch. No pulse former. This is a latch. This is a latch. So this turns on when there has been something in the chest. Currently on. And now putting over there. Uh, and this is the reset signal. So when you do something, which is this one, I believe, um, it also has a latch, then this is latched on. So there has been an item in the chest. When this one happens, which I believe is the go ahead and do the thing thing, this is actually just on, permanently on. I see that's the problem. Uh, this may be bugged, actually, interesting, but we'll see. Uh, this is the do the thing thing, right? So when this goes high, which is currently off, then all of these will drop something and it will stay in this situation in theory, I believe, until something ends up in the chest, right? And then this latch here is turned off by the do something thing, right? So you request a crafting, which turns off the I have had something in me in the output chest signal. So now nothing has, we've reset that signal. So now we know that we are waiting something to show up in the chest, which is one of the things that allows you to go on again, right? So now this can't happen a second time until this goes back to on and turns this latch on, right? Why are you? I have a feeling you're not supposed to be permanently on. Your app. Is that how the latch works? It keeps this side on instead of this side? Yeah, because this side needs to be turned on to turn it off, right? So when we ask it to craft something, we disable the you're allowed to craft something input from over there. This one's also on. And this one is the every five seconds one, right? So every five seconds, this is allowed to do something. Honestly, I feel like it's not this. Wireless receiver. There's also a wireless receiver. Tune to what? <laughs> the wireless transmitter. So there's not enough mana in this pool. Because look, this is set to something. And this goes one, zero. So this needs to be one, two, three, four strong at least. So it'll be four, three, two, one. Yeah, so that needs to be at least four strong anything to be output there. So in theory, if I were to borrow this, for example, here, and this will get brighter. You can see the, oh, you can see this one's lit up. I don't know how fast this will go. This one's lit up pretty quick. This one's lit up. Nice, which means that's lit up means this is lit up, which means that should have dropped something and made the thing. Yeah, it's working. And then that has now gone down because it's not, in okay. So the reason all of that was on is because that needed to be turned off to reset everything. So it wasn't actually bugged. It just kind of looks like it's bugged because this being permanently on kind of implies that it's stuck, but it's not. You have to you know, reset up. This is the reset, the turning it on match. So, okay, so Tristan said that it sends a short low pulse to the hoppers, but actually it just turns all the hoppers on. Because if all the hoppers are on, they, it has to turn off and on again for the hoppers to drop again. So the short low pulse is actually, I believe this, right? So if this deactivates everything, then it turns it all on, turns it off briefly. Right, so a low pulse is actually a brief off, not a on, but a low value. I understand that. 
Right, so we briefly turn this off in order to make everything drop again when it turns back on again. That was a long-winded explanation, um, but maybe it was largely right. We want to do something like that downstairs, because downstairs we have a problem whereby if you want to craft more than one thing in the atomic reconstructor, you have a similar problem in as much as... Um, I think in that case you just can't do more than one at once. But in the other case, you could do more than one at once as long as you're the same thing. Uh, charcoal? That was my actual one. Did you get some? Yeah. There we go. Uh, power those a little bit. One way of doing it. Right. Let's go and see what that's all about. So I'll show you the other problem. I'll be back in a sec. There's no point in you watching me walk. So down here then is our problem. This machine here can atomically reconstruct, for example, redstone. If I take a piece of redstone, this here is only allowed to pick up these blocks. So let's, I'll show you with a block. There's no point not showing you with a block. I kind of hate how much noise there is down here. <laughs> So when I put this on here, the redstone is heavy enough to activate the pressure plate, which activates the atomic reconstructor, which turns the redstone into this thing, which then gets picked up by this. Okay, so boop, boop, zap, and then it's gone. Right? That is constructed by means of this, which is an ME interface with the internet. So that says one block of redstone, one redstone crystal block. Perfect. Uh, this looks like an attempt to do a similar thing. So but the problem here is, if I were to put anything at all in here, it's going to get dropped there, right? And then this is going to turn on, and I don't, like, presumably, now this is receiving a high signal. It's not going to drop anything else. I don't even know if this is solved, actually. I'm looking at, because this is, this is new. So this may have been solved, because what you want to do is if you wanted to craft, so for example, this can craft all of these. So if you wanted to craft uh, Restonia Crystal and Palis Crystal, you need Redstone Block and a Lapis Block. Right? So if you, pardon me. So if they were to both try and show up in here at once, you only want one of them to fall out at a time. What happens if, fair enough, so that did work. So let's request the craft of those two things. Okay, the problem is not me requesting the crafts. The problem is if something else requests them, and then it all happens at once, because the machine is very quick. So I guess there's no point me even trying, because I'd have to craft something that tries to put everything in there at once. But this seems solved to me. I'm not sure what this is for. Well, if it was there, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, but this seems to be enough to power that, which is weird, because you'd think that that would break it for that time. Um, so, I guess we're going to fix it. And in there, this one here is crafting fluids crystals by doing the thing where you drop them in water and wait, and this is, of course, only passing, picking up fluids crystals. But I think uh, one of the things I did automate was... Crafting of your Certus Quartz Crystal, which is crafted with a Certus Quartz Crystal, right? Because what you do, is that in here? What you, what you need to do there is you need to turn the Certus Quartz Crystal into a seed. So this creates four Certus Quartz Crystals, or so this is in the enrichment chain. That's not it. There's a way of creating, yeah, from one fluid seed. There you go. One pure fluids crystal with one fluid seed. And the fluid seed is fluid dust and special sand, and sand right? And fluid dust is a fluid crystal. But no, you get two seeds from one crystal. So you have to have fluid crystals in your system in order to make another fluid crystal. And you end up with a pure fluid crystal. 
which is usually fine, right? The fluid seed turns into a pure fluid crystal. So you can turn one boring fluid into two fluid seeds that themselves turn into pure fluid crystals. So you have to be able to stop right now. And I believe that you can make that seed out of, because if you're using uh, fluid dust, you can also crush a pure fluid crystal. I'm now realizing this may not be the case. Maybe you do actually need to be constructing fluid crystals. That's interesting. I thought you could make a fluid seed out of a pure fluid crystal because you should be able to grind up a pure fluid crystal into fluid dust. Ah, oh. so um, normally in AE2, that's just a duplication mechanic. As long as you've got some, you can make more, but not in this pack. Anyway, down here, we've made a rolling machine. It turns out you can automate these. It was very difficult. Each one of these is the item, which is annoying. There's lock items, but um, I can take them out, apparently. That is an elite control circuit, which is expensive. <laughs> it, it's pressed diamond. It's crystal teen ingots. It's iridium. You have to leave it. It's not the blueprint. It's the actual items. But once you've got it set up, Having lock items means that it keeps one set of items in there, and then if you put another set of items in there, it constructs it. It's similar to the carpenter. For the carpenter, these items are not real. These are just ghosts of the items, so you've not kept them. If you put the actual items in there, it crafts it. This one, it's keeping hold of the items. There are other rolling machine recipes, so downstairs is basically an area where I've made a little bit more space for some more carpenters. This one's using destabilized redstone. Uh, which I ended up adding to the system. Uh, and this is just a bunch of these, but of course, you're going to have to have one, of each, one each for each recipe as well, which is not fun at all. Um, and I've made a P2P connection with... We'll put it on the line one. I'll put it on the line one. It doesn't really have 32 channels spare. But it only has two channels spare, so maybe I shouldn't have put it on that one. You've got six. Maybe I need a fresh one for downstairs. Currently, not a big deal because, you know, we're only using a couple of channels down there anyway, but, you know, we're going to run out of stuff. So, not a lot really to say this week. Mike wasn't around. Lawrence only played for a little bit. We got through a lot of quests. There are more quests. Let's uh, go upstairs and explode into the explosion room and see how we get on. A lot of quests to hand in now. We can do stuff. Turns out I do not need to fix the thing that Tristan said I needed to fix. Uh, because he fixed it himself, or potentially it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, I don't need that. Not too many now. How about well, that's it, is it? Ah. Well, we like to chuck things on the ground anyway, so there you go. Who needs diamonds these days? The premium essence, I mean that. <laughs> Pressing them one at a time. Check it out. Oop, oop. Perfect, all right. Anyway, nothing else to say. Thanks for watching to me ramble on about two vaguely complicated systems. I don't know why there are oars here. I'm probably going to blame Mike for that one. And um, hope to see you on Thursday when we may be actually getting towards the end of this. So it might be the last one. Um, and I hope to see you on Discord so that you can find out when I'm going to be streaming myself. I've been playing the Die Wolf 20 mod pack on stream and I'm getting very salty about the complete lack of diamonds. <laughs> it's very difficult to find anything. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. And I'll see you.